You see me living this life of being on flights all the time, living in five star hotels, meeting unicorn founders, doing podcasts with the best people of the country. And what you don't actually get to see is the work that I put in behind the scenes, the numerous hours that I spent two years ago when I first started building my YouTube channel. I meet all of these people when I go to conferences and all. The biggest factor that differentiates me is my age. They are like, you accomplished all of this at 20, at 21? Damn, that is what attracts people to, you know, meet me, to talk to me, to understand my mindset. Right. So if you want to do something like that at this age, you have to give it your all. That is the only way possible. And that is what I want to delve deeper today in this video. The mindset that is needed for you to actually win at an age that is 20, 21, 22 is what I want to talk about today. The first thing that people often get confused about is work-life balance. There has to be absolute disregard for work-life balance when you are early on in your career. It has to be a myth when you are first getting started. Because hear me out, when you are getting started, you don't have liabilities. You are young, full of energy. This is the time for you to experiment, to fail, and to work, to give it your all, and to not worry about closing in by five o'clock and then having a party with your friends and calling it a day. What you need is this constant hunger for more. What's funny is that people my age open up LinkedIn and they see a ton of articles of people talking about work-life balance and it's so important for people to, you know, have a balance in their life where they are working and then they are also living their life. Well, you need to understand this one thing. Someone else is more hungry than you are and someone else is going to put in more hard work than what you will. And someone else will get the opportunities that you could have also gotten. And if you understand this, you would want to put all of your hard work into this dream. If you have a dream to start a YouTube channel, to start that business that you've always wanted to build, if you have that dream of getting that job in that top tech company, of becoming a UI UX designer, of becoming a video editor, you must give it your all, right? What that basically means is that Yes, it is important for you to sleep, but the time that you are awake, you are all in. Number two, there has to be a constant desire, almost a desperation to upskill yourself through courses, through podcasts, through books, through every other media possible to learn about how this world operates, about how does your industry operate and how can you become indispensable to people when you are working with clients. The difference between you today and you 10 years down the line is the people that you've met and the books that you've read, the change in mindset that you've had and that will only happen if you will expose yourself to various genres. Don't just limit yourself to just entrepreneurship books. Learn as much as possible when you're just getting started in your career from a varied field, right? So maybe you are learning about cooking, maybe you're learning about gardening, you're learning about spirituality, you're learning about design, you're learning about technology, you're learning about all of these things and you might never know what synergy you might be able to build, what idea you can take for, from gardening that can then be implemented into building something valuable that you are then learning in product management or in design in general. So that is how, you know, all the people like, you know, Elon Musk, that is how he has been working. He takes things that work into separate fields and then combines them together. And that is how he's able to accomplish what he has. Next, you need to be indifferent to the environment. What that means is that learn to be neutral, learn to be more rigid in your emotions, right? If you let other people's perception affect your reality, then that is game over for you. So what that basically means is that if you start a new business, there are five people who might say this is the best thing in the world, you're going to build the next trillion dollar business. You need to be neutral to that. And then when someone says that this is the worst business I've ever seen, you need to be neutral to that as well, because you know what is best for yourself and you know what is your capability. And so you know what you can build. You do not need affirmation of someone else to tell you if this is the right way to move forward or not. So learn this one thing, right? Your parents might say this is not, not the right thing to go ahead. Your, your peers might say that you should not pursue this. Your friends, the people that you might have trusted the most will tell you that you should not go ahead with this or this is not the right way. But if you think that this is important, you must pursue it. The second last thing I want to talk about is the biggest mistake, right, that you can make when you are in your 20s or when you are young in general is inaction. 
right? I read this uh, really interesting quote by Tony Fedel in, in, in the book called Build. Uh, so he basically says that biggest mistake in your 20s is inaction. The rest is trial and error. Kal raat ko I was having dinner with some people and some student just showed up saying that hi bhaiya, I have an idea, hai. should I pursue it or not? Will this idea really work? Right? I said I am not the right customer for this idea, number one. Number two, you wouldn't know until you actually do it. And he was like, what happened if I worked on it and it didn't work? Then I said that if it doesn't work, then you know what actually does, right? Your audience will tell you what do they really need. Twitter started as audio, a podcasting platform where they realized that people love updating their status. And that is how they got rid of the whole podcasting thing and focused solely on updating your status. And that is how Twitter was formed. If they thought that this podcasting service wala app will not go, then Twitter would not have been here today. Right? So you have to try things out and then see what is it that your customers are focusing on the most. The same thing happened with Instagram as well, Bourbon, the app that people used to have when they were checking in to cafes and bars. Right? What they realized was that people were just uploading pictures of where they were. So they cut down the whole idea of, you know, bars and all of that and just focused on updates and on pictures in general. Right? So that is what you need to figure out. If you have something in mind, go execute and see how it works and evaluate, reevaluate, pivot and keep on going with it. The last thing is that the obstacle has to be the way. The hard thing is what you should be the most attracted towards. If you go through some hardship, you should not feel that like, like why I don't deserve this thing? Why is it happening to me? In which you are actually encountering obstacles, you're encountering hardships because that is what will build your character and at the end that is what you need. You need to have a focus on going through obstacles and coming out of the storm with a better sense of how to deal with life, right? Like my father always says that your generation is too soft, too comfortable. And back in my day, I used to walk all the way to the school and then come back. I used to do all of these hard things and that is what has built me up to who I am today. And that is so true. We are getting too soft and so what you need to go through hardships and learn lessons of how to keep going, of how to sustain yourself while you are in that mode of executing, of problem solving. And that is the mindset that is needed for you to win. I don't really make these type of videos because I think that, you know, mindset is, is like overrated. What is really important is execution and practicality. But I get a ton of messages from people about the same thing. So I thought of sharing that with you. This is what it took me to be here today to get to this level that I can talk to the biggest billionaires of this country, make podcasts with them, go to colleges and meet thousands of students. And that is what you need to take away. Don't see what I'm selling, see how I'm selling and take that learning with you and execute that in your own career, in your own business. That is what is required. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that this video helps you. I hope that you execute. If you have any questions, let me know about that in the comment section as well. You can follow me on Instagram at Ishan Sharma 7390 and I would love to get back on the next one and talk to you again. Thanks a lot. If you're still watching that in the comment section, I watched till the very end. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.